man, you really don't know what you've got until it's gone. And that is the case with me and robot vacuums. You know, when we left Silver Hammer Tower back in August and moved into Voltage Studio, you know, at Silver Hammer Tower, I had all these Robo Rock vacuums, one on each story. And then we moved into this place, which was one story. I thought, I'm going to get a clean slate here, a fresh start. I'm going to get a new robot vacuum. And I was thinking, which one do I get? And I was looking at that Dyson. Dyson is promising one. It's available everywhere else except the United States. And I was waiting for it to come to the U.S. But then Ecovax announced the D-Bot X2 Omni. And I was thinking, oh man, I've had one of those before. That looks pretty cool. And yeah, they got me. So I pre-ordered one. And today we're going to talk all about it. Thank goodness for Teresa. Now I can shut up about not having a robot vacuum. Let's get into it. What up, everybody? It's George Langevier with Silver Hammer Surveillance coming to you again from Voltage Studio. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech. We talk home security. We have videos weekly. Follow me on the socials, specifically Instagram, where I give you a little more insight in the man behind Silver Hammer and give you some inside scoop on home security and smart home stuff. Today, we are talking robot vacuums, specifically robot vacuums from Ecovax, the new D-Bot X2 Omni, very cool new robot vacuum out on the market, just available for pre-order. Got myself one. We're going to talk all about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about the specs. We're going to talk about the app. We're going to give you my pros and my cons and all that good stuff. So let's start with unboxing this bad boy. All right, so that was the unboxing, pretty straightforward. One thing I wanna mention, this vacuum comes looking like it's ready to go because the mop pads are already on there. If you're like me and you just had so many robot vacuums and you just breeze through the instructions, just keep in mind that little helicopter brush that comes with it, you gotta put that on. So yeah, it looks like it comes ready to go, but it's not, you just gotta put that brush on. Quick note there. All right, let's move on to the setup. Okay, setup is pretty straightforward. Get yourself the Ecovax app. If you don't have it already, sign up for an account. If you haven't already, take the lid off the vacuum, turn the vacuum on, press the pairing button, then you scan the QR code on the vacuum, add it to your Wi-Fi, and just follow the app instructions. It's very straightforward, it takes about five minutes. Okay, now that it's set up, we're gonna talk about the app, but before we do that, I wanna talk about some specs. All right, the Ecovax D-Bot X2 Omni is $1,499.99 check in the affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. That price is in line with other high-end robot vacuums like the RoboRock. Now, this has got a new square design. You know, a lot of robot vacuums are circular. I've used several from Roomba to the old Dyson to several RoboRocks. So this is a new square design, which is cool. Super thin, 32 centimeters in diameter and 9.5 centimeters tall. So that helps with going under couches and under beds and stuff like that. Because of the new design with a built-in edge detection, they claim 99.77% cleaning coverage per unit area. So because it goes edge to edge, you know, it really helps with getting every nook and cranny of your cleaning area. 
industry leading 8,000 PA suction power. And that's one of the most important specs because this sucker's got some suction power. Intelligent mop lifting using ultrasonic sound lifting for both carpet and previously cleaned areas. Now that's the same with like Roborocks and stuff, but this one's a little more advanced. I can tell you that much. The all-in-one Omni station, which is the docking station, several features on that bad boy. You've got auto clean with hot water mop, auto empty, auto drying, and auto self maintenance. As far as washing the mop pads, this has a 55 degrees Celsius, which is 131 degrees Fahrenheit, hot water mop pad washing. So it really heats that sucker up as it's washing those mop pads. AI powered AI VI 3D 2.0, for sophisticated machine learning, and that's for the obstacle avoidance and stuff like that. This has a dual laser LIDAR sensor, which is key in this whole operation. The first integrated vacuum and mop cleaning solution with a LIDAR sensor fully integrated into the body, which is the same technology they use in most autonomous vehicles. So that's pretty sweet. The 210 degree field of view assists with navigation and obstacle avoidance. So again, the LiDAR sensor is what does all that obstacle avoidance, which is very important when it comes to a robot vacuum. Pet friendly mode that avoids your dog's dishes, your cat's dishes, uh, dog poop on the floor, that kind of thing. So the LiDAR sensor helps with avoiding that. Upgraded 3D mapping. Great for just cleaning a specific area. You just swipe over the area in the app. So as far as your 3D map, swipe over that area and the X2 will take care of it. Pretty cool. The Yiko Voice Assistant 2.0. So the Ecovacs X1 Omni had the Yiko. This is 2.0, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but it's got its own built-in voice assistant, which is different than Roborock, for example. And then it also has Siri shortcuts. No Apple Home integration, not natively anyway, and that's not Ecovacs fault. It's just not a category in Apple Home yet. Hopefully that's coming, but with Siri shortcuts, you can pretty much do everything you need to anyway with Siri. All right, now that we've talked specs, let's talk the Ecovacs app. The Ecovacs app is awesome, loaded with features and settings. I can't talk about all of it, or this would be a three hour video. So I'm gonna do my best to cover the highlights. Here on the home screen, you've got your vacuum listed there. If you had multiple vacuums in your home, they'd be listed there, you could switch between them. Tells you whether or not it's online or offline. You got your Yiko settings to the right. You've also got your battery percentage there. You can hit that auto cleaning option. It'll take it back to the base station and go through its cleaning, you know, the emptying and all that good stuff. Recharge, you can send it back to the base to recharge with that icon. Start to control your robot. That's where the meat of the settings are. We'll get to that in a second. Enter the video manager. Now this does have a camera that can control your home. Check in on your kids, check in on your pets, see where the vacuum's at. Now for privacy, you do need to put in a password to get into the app, but it'll also announce on the vacuum that, that it's being watched. So your family will know that they're being watched. Again, I got to breeze through some of these settings, but in the camera, you've got the remote control. You can send it back to the station. You can do a voice call so you can talk through the vacuum. You can hit that patrol. It'll go through your whole home and tell you kind of what's going on in your place. So yeah, so that's the camera and I'm glad they're worried about your privacy. If you go back into start control your robot, that's where the meat of the settings are. So here you've got your map. You can do a 2D map or a 3D map. If you hit your icon on the top right, you can go into your map management. That's where you can determine if it's a single floor home, multiple stories, you can have a map for each story, so on and so forth. Map display, you've got some options there. You can put in your furniture and such. And then if you go into map editing, that's where you can change the name of your rooms. You can put in virtual boundaries. You can do divides if it didn't divide it for you. You can combine rooms. And then you can also put in carpet if your quick management didn't find carpet where it was supposed to. But I find that's pretty flawless, so I don't know why you would need to do that. All right, then you can go at the top right there and go to quick mapping. So again, if you rearrange your furniture or something, you can remap your house. And that's how you would do it. And if you go into home settings, there's where you can put in some furniture and you can edit your walls. So that's your map management. Then if you go towards the bottom here, you got your whole house cleaning. If I hit start there, it will just clean my home. I can toggle the AI on or off. Again, that AI is going to help with obstacle avoidance. Then you've got your cleaning preferences, vacuum only, mopping only, or vacuuming and mopping. Your vacuum power. Now that's a very important one because this 8,000 PA it doesn't work very well if you got to turn way down. 
So if you got bigger debris that you want to take care of, you're going to want to up that suction or on your carpets or whatever. So keep control of that vacuum power because it is important. Sometimes if it's too low and you've got something on the floor that's a, some decent debris, it'll just drag it around all over the place and make a bigger mess. So vacuum power is important. Water flow level, you can control that there. You've got number of times, one or two. Deep scrubbing, you've got the schedule. So I've got mine Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 10.30. It takes about an hour and a half for it to clean this place. Smart cleaning, you can do things like do not disturb. So if you want to override that schedule, that's where that is. Station settings, that's where you've got the mop pads, cleaning interval, the hot air drying time, etc. If you go into a log, it'll show you every time it's cleaned. It'll give you some stats about that. You can go into the video log, it'll tell you every time the camera's been used. And then if you go to the bottom to more settings, you've got a synopsis of your log. You've got accessories and parts for your replacement parts. That's how you can get in there. There's also a store tab that you can do that. Customized scenario cleaning. So this is like if you just want to say, hey, clean up after the meal. It'll do that. So instead of whole house cleaning, you can create custom scenarios. Daily cleaning, that's where you can control that. And then if you go back, you've got your Yiko settings. Again, that's the voice assistant. You can change the language. You can turn it off if you want. You can have the Yiko remind you to restock your accessories. In the robot settings, you can update your firmware, change your time zone, manage your Wi-Fi if you change routers. You've got the name of your robot if you want to change the name. Product improvement programs, kind of like a beta program type thing. It's off by default, but you can get in there if you want. Serial number, MAC address, AI model version, and you can find your robot if it's lost or missing in action. Video manager, that's where you can change the password of the camera. And then help is general information. And then lab features, that's an important one because I think some people will breeze over this. It does have strategic particulate removal. When enabled, DBOT will strategically clean up coarse dirt particles to prevent them from being knocked away by the spinning side brush. I think that one's important or you'll just get stuff all over the place. You can also let it know that you have a pet in the house. It's one thing that I'm not testing and I'm sorry about that. I just don't have pets. All right, then you can share the robot with your family members or you can delete the robot from the app. But that's pretty much it. Again, there's so much more to this that I just can't get into. This would be way too long, but the app is fantastic and endless possibilities there and i find it to be very intuitive and even though there's a lot it's very easy to use all right let's move on to my pros and cons after using the robot okay real quick before we move on to the pros and cons i do want to mention again i apologize i don't have pets so i couldn't test it that way i know that's very important with a robot vacuum so i apologize but I could have recreated something, but it's just not the same. So I didn't even bother, but I have been using this for a while. And so here we go. Pros, the LIDAR, the obstacle avoidance and the navigation and everything. This blows away anything that I've used before. Now I've had several Roborocks, four different models of Roborocks. I've had the old Dyson robot. I've had Roombas, several models of the Roombas. And I also had the Ecovacs X1 Omni. So I'm comparing it to that. The LiDAR here is amazing. And it's so cool that it's built into the body like an autonomous vehicle. I think that's awesome that they bring up that comparison because that's how sophisticated it is. So the LiDAR is great. Obstacle avoidance is great. Did great on the stools. If I put something down, it went around it. That was great. It's much better than the last one even. So that's cool. Love the design for maneuverability. The square design, I find it to be much better than the circle. Also the fact that it's a little smaller. Again, for stools and stuff, it just was breezing in and out like it was nothing. The edge, the edge detection is great and how it goes. So it like goes under a cabinet, comes back out. So the design of it is great. I just find that the square fits better in different nooks and crannies. Improved obstacle avoidance. Again, that goes back to the LiDAR. And so I can't cover that any more than I already have, but it's improved a lot, especially with stools. I noticed that in particular, the old D-Bot and, and my Roborock was a mess sometimes on these very same stools. So I'm comparing it to the same furniture and it worked much better with this one. Suction power is amazing, but remember to adjust it. If you don't adjust it, you're gonna notice some debris on the floor that it didn't do squat with, or that it'll just kind of move all over the place and spill all over the place. Teresa and I experienced that. But if you up that suction power and use that 8,000 PA, then, then it's good to go. Now, you're probably going to want to have a handheld vacuum of some sort for other messes. I'm just going to tell you that. I still have my Dysons here. 
to come in and swoop in and save the day if we need to. But uh, this is pretty damn good if you up that suction power. The app, the app is insane. I was just scratching the service and I didn't mean to rush through that, but this would literally take three hours if I went through that app step by step. So the app is fantastic. One thing I didn't mention as far as the app goes is there's a me tab. And in that me tab is where you go in to get the step-by-step -step instructions for Siri shortcuts, which could be very important. And with Siri shortcuts, you can start, you can stop, you can pause, and you're supposed to be able to say, Hey Siri, do whatever room. But I find that that one's not working very well for me, but the starting and the stopping and the pausing works flawlessly. So keep in mind, you can go in there for the Siri shortcuts. And then also with Yiko, Yiko is a very cool assistant to have on your vacuum. Very intuitive. It's a little more conversational than the last one, which is cool. You know, I, I prefer Siri, but this does more as far as the specific vacuum goes. And the fact that it can remind you to order accessories and stuff like that. Very cool. Um, Siri shortcuts, again, we already covered that, so I'm not going to mention it, but it's awesome that it has it. And someday we're going to get Robot vacuums, native and home kit. I just know it's going to happen someday. Maybe with matter next round, who knows, but please bring it on. The mapping system is very easy to use the way you can go in and put in your rooms and your dividers and merge rooms and furniture and all that very similar to Roborock in that way, but I do find it to be very easy to use. And I think it'd be good for any level of tech expertise, better mopping system than the Roborock. Now I definitely like this mopping system better the way it switches from the carpet to the floor and just, it just, it's just better all the way around. All right, moving on to cons. I wish the water bin, the clean water bin was bigger because you have to fill that every so often. And so it's pretty small. I think it's a little smaller than the X one. Um, definitely smaller than the last Robo rock I had. So I wish that was bigger, but anyway, that's a small problem. Um, they gave that up for space saving as far as the size of the actual base station and everything. And I'd prefer that in a small place like this so that we have space to put this robot vacuum in here. So that's a small complaint. It did drag some debris for large messes and I'm talking really large messes. Um, but again, when I upped that suction power, it took care of it much better. But, um, in that lower middle range, it dragged some debris around and actually made it worse than it was, but that's where you got to control that suction power. The Siri shortcuts are great. It's great at starting. It's great at stopping, great at pausing. But one con is that I did have some problem and I don't know if it's just something I'm doing, but I can't get it to do a specific room. When I do, I get an error message. So that kind of sucks because I like that feature because really you don't need Apple home kit with Siri shortcuts with these robot vacuums, but it does need to be working properly. So I need to reach out to Ecovacs to see if it's just something I'm doing, but everything else works great. Starting, stopping, pausing just not specific groups. Another con would be the mapping names. So the mapping itself is great, but I don't like the mapping names. They give you very limited options. So I can't call my studio a studio. It's gotta be a study. You know, you can't call it George's bathroom or Teresa's bathroom. It's just gotta be bathroom one or bathroom two. And again, these are nitpicky things, but I do find their particular names that they picked are very limited. So I wish we had more options as far as actually naming rooms. And I wish we had a custom naming option. I'm sure that's a limitation because of the eco assistant, but anyway, I wish we had more control over the naming of rooms. Lastly, the magnetic cover that fits over the vacuum. I find that comes off a little too easily. It's not a huge deal, but if you get the right obstacle, it'll take it right off of there. If you pick up the vacuum for whatever reason, it could slide off. So I wish that was on there better, but anyway, that's a nitpicky thing. It's great for the most part, but just a little easy for my taste. Okay. That's it. In a nutshell, overall, this is the best robot vacuum I've used. Again, I've used Roombas, the old Dyson, the previous Ecovacs, four different models of Roborocks. This is the best I've used. And most of it's because of that LIDAR. This is the most advanced LIDAR that I've experienced with a robot vacuum as far as obstacle avoidance and navigation. And obviously those are very important when it comes to robot vacuums, but yeah, this is the best. So good job, Ecovacs. I'm glad I did this one. The Dyson, I would have held off for it, but I didn't like that it didn't have a mop. And we've got the combination of wood floors and carpet here. So the mop was important to me. So I'm glad that this announcement came just in the nick of time before I spent $2,300 on that Dyson or whatever ridiculous price tag they're gonna have on that one. 
So I was happy the $14.99.99 on this one. I'll take that. I did buy this with my own money. Again, the affiliate link is in the description below. But let me know what you think. What's your favorite robot vacuum? Let me know in the comments. So many options out there. I'd love to hear your thoughts. That's it. There we go. All right. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. For all our current subscribers, you know I love you. Your love and support, especially through my cancer journey, has meant the world for me. You know that. For anybody new here, welcome to the party. We're just getting started. I'm not going anywhere. I'm feeling great, thriving, loving life. So yeah, this party's just getting started. So until the next video, peace and love.